Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've been here. Very long time. But we are going to get this YouTube channel back up and running. The first thing I wanted to mention is that I do have several videos here that are older. I won't be deleting them. I'll just be putting them in subfolders. So if you want to look at those, you can go back on them. But going forward, we're only going to be doing planner stuff here, at least for now. So I am currently planning for 2024. I have two planners that I use for this year. The first one is my Vanderspec. This is a custom pocket rings. We're not going to be getting into this today. This is where I do 90% of my planning, but we're going to be focusing on my Hobonichi weeks this is where I do my weeklies so we'll look into this planner in another video today I want to focus on this this is my new Motrim cover I purchased this on Amazon you can also get it on AliExpress because Motrim has an official store there I just got this I was originally in a burnt orange color which was a little too fall looking for me so I wanted something darker for the winter so I ordered the chocolate cover and I really love it. The texture on this is so pebbly and it's really gorgeous. So I just received this and I wanna set it up. It's empty as you can see. The only thing I did ahead of time was put in these pockets. This pocket here is an official Hobonichi pocket. It came with my Hobonichi book, which I have been using. So I just moved it into this new cover and I really love it. This top pocket here, unfortunately, is no longer made. I believe it was from the uh, playground, Bullseye Playground at Target. It was purchased many, many years ago. I don't have a link for these, and I will link as many items as I can in my description, but I've recently moved, and I'm using a lot of my older stuff in my stash, so there may be things that I can't link to that are older, like this pocket, or if the item is limited edition and no longer sold. So I will do my best with linking as much as I can in the description box below the video. If you can see, this has had a little bit of yellowing, but I'm okay with that because they're older. I think once we set everything up, it shouldn't be a problem. So what I did is I pulled some items out of my stash, some new and some old, and I really don't have anything planned, so let's just get into it and see what we can do here. I kind of just fly by the seat of my pants. I don't usually plan anything. Meaning when I set things up, I like to just be spontaneous about it and it just kind of happens. So first thing I want to use is this Ollie clip. It's really, really cute. You can see that. I love the color of it. I think it complements the brown really well. I like to have a paper clip in reach. So this way, if I'm on the go and I'm planning, or if I wanna like mark a certain section in my book, I can do that. So yeah, let's keep going. Okay, this is really cute. This is from a sticker company that I really love. It's Every Minute a Story. It's, it's one of my favorite sticker companies to use for planning. This is one of her free monthly freebies. So this one I can't link to. I got this in one of my older orders, but it's adorable because it's all about travel. My husband's been traveling a lot. So I think I wanna put this here. We may move it around, we shall see. Okay, now this is a newer item. It's also from Every Minute A Story. This is adorable. I love it because of the book. I am an avid reader. Besides being here on YouTube for my planner, I also have a planner channel on Instagram. I will link that in the description, but I also have a bookstagram where I review books prior to them being released. I will link that in my description as well in case you're interested. So I'm a big reader and a big bookworm. So I, when I saw this clip, I just had to have it. And I love the way the, the store name is engraved on it. Yeah, that's so cute. I can't even handle how adorable that is. So I think I'm gonna add that there. Okay, this is just a card from my um, <laughs> hair salon. So it's my next hair appointment and I wanna make sure I add it in my planner. So I'm just gonna stick it there. It doesn't have to be anything too obvious. Okay, next we have these cute little post-it notes. I love how it has like the full fold 
in the corner. Now, I'm not sure what stationery store I purchased these from. They're very old. I purchased them a long time ago, so I apologize if I don't have a link. They are kind of a little bit on the thick side, but I'm okay with that. I like to have sticky notes with me, so if I'm away from my desk and I'm on the go and I need a sticky note, so I'm gonna put those right there. Next up is these two cards. I thought these would be cute. One is for dates and one is for memo. These are from Tool and Twine Co. They are also very old, so I apologize. One of the things that I'm trying to focus on for 2024 is to stop shop my stash, to stop buying and buying and buying. I moved into a new home and once I got into packing up my old planner room and seeing all the things I had, I realized that I need to really start using this stuff. This is gonna work out really good for me, even for this week coming up. There's only one week left in February, but I have a lot of appointments next week. So I'm gonna put that right there and fill it out later. And here is a memo where I can just jot down notes, a phone number if I need to, anything like that. Okay, the next thing I pulled was this Ola Deer Paper. It was a thank you freebie from one of my orders, but it's kind of perfect. I was really sick for January and parts of February, so I need to back plan for February. I wanna use the hearts for Valentine's Day and my husband's birthday is in February, so the little birthday hats are perfect. So I'm gonna stick this right here. I think that's all I'm gonna put in the side pockets. I really like the way that looks. Okay, the next thing is I want to use these, I want to get these stickers out. I'm going to put this aside. I have an idea for that. So these are from Sweet Caress Design, another company that I totally love. I am obsessed with the oatmeal color, but I think I'm going to purchase the cocoa color to match with my new planner cover. But for now, the oatmeal will work. I use these all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick those in this pocket here. And they don't have to be neat or anything. I'm gonna be grabbing at them a lot. They don't have to be organized or that I can just grab them when I feel like it. This one here, I'm gonna put here as kind of like a backdrop. I don't know if it's gonna make a difference, but we'll see. The next thing I have is these really cute little chipboard pieces, or not chipboard pieces, but more like ephemera pieces. They're not stickers, they're just cutouts. And they're also from every minute a story and they're adorable. This one here is right now, it's nap time. I'm a big cat person, I have two. And then of course, the reading and coffee. I have my bookstagram, so that's perfect for me. And fueled by coffee, how adorable are those? So what my thought was is maybe to put these here. Let's see, let's figure this out. I'm gonna put that one there. I think that would be cute. I don't know if you're gonna see the dots, but it's okay. I'll, I'll still keep them back there. I'm gonna just kind of put these like this. Now I did pull out this clip because I was pretty sure I was gonna have to clip this corner. Now I forgot to mention this before, but this pocket here, I did end up trimming down the left side. It was a solid pocket before, but because the Hobonichi Weeks is so narrow, these pockets didn't fit, so I did have to trim it down, so now it's an open flat pocket. Now if these move around, I'm totally okay with it, but what I'm gonna do to maybe prevent it just a little bit is I'm gonna put this paper clip right here and see if that'll just hold that corner yeah that's cute we can go with that so I really like that a lot and I'm able to move the pocket without anything moving I think that's all we're gonna do I did also pull out this traveler's notebook um, airplane paper clip and I think what I'm gonna do with that is use that on my overall yearly overview. What I'm using this for is a reading tracker. I don't track the hours that I read because I read way too much. Um, when I'm at my regular pace, I can read up to 12 books a month and sometimes more. So what I do is I only check off the days that I read. Now, as you can see, February is empty because like I said, I'm sick and I have to back plan. So maybe we can do that on, a, on the next video. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is my thoughts here were, 
let's see. I wanted to put this here. Oh, let's do the other way so it makes a window. And then I can slide this all the way across depending on what month it is. So for now it's going to be here and that's okay. It works out pretty good because it holds that pocket in place as well. So now when I open up my planner I can go right to my reading tracker and I don't have to flip through any of the other pages. So I really like the way that came out. I think we're done. <laughs> and I used up all of the supplies that I had pulled so it worked out perfectly. I really like the way this came out. I'm just going to show you a close-up so you guys can see. It looks really, really cute. I love how random these are and how they're just like kind of tossed in there. So I'm happy with how that came out. Now as far as doing further videos, I will be doing that definitely. I don't have a schedule as of right now. I don't want to make any promises on specific days yet until I see how this starts to go. Um, this week is crazy for me. Of course, I picked the craziest week to start my YouTube channel back up. But I have a wedding tomorrow, a family wedding, and that's huge. And then next week we have appointments every single day going on. But that's okay. We're still going to plan and we're still going to videotape. So I will try for twice a week. If I'm able to do more, I will. But don't forget, I have an Instagram where I do a lot of stories for planning. You can follow me. I'll put my name here on the screen. And then I will also put it in the description. Thank you so much, guys, for following along with today's little setup journey. I hope you like this. Definitely subscribe if you aren't. Uh, hit that bell notification so this way you're notified next time I do a video and thanks so much for coming back guys I really appreciate it 